Okay, this is 1.2 solving a word problem with three unknowns using a linear equation. So the problem reads, over the last three evenings, Rachel received a total of 53 phone calls at the call center. The third evening, she received two times as many calls as the first evening. The second evening, she received seven fewer calls than the first evening. How many phone calls did she receive? So the first um, sentence tells us that over the three nights, so we're gonna say the first night plus the second night plus the third night will equal the 53 total phone calls. Now, they do use, they talk about, um, she received two times as many calls on the first evening. So the third evening, so they're talking about this one. The third evening, she received two times as many calls as the first evening. So what that means is the first evening is being used to describe the other evening. So for me, that means that the first evening is going to be X because that's the one being used to describe the other. Then now when I use that description, two times as many as the first evening, this expression would be 2 times x. Then the next sentence says the second evening, so now they're talking about this evening, she received 7 fewer calls than the first evening. So again, they're comparing it to the first evening. Fewer means um, less or subtract. So if I had 10 calls on the first day, then that means if I subtract 7, I'll have 3 calls on the second day. So this needs to be x minus seven. And now I have the expression that I need in order to solve for x. So we combine all of our like terms. We get four x minus seven equals 53. If I add seven to both sides, I get four x equal to 60. And then if I divide by four on both sides, I get 15. It says, how many calls did she receive each evening? So we know that X represents the first evening. So 15 on the first night. Then X minus 7, which would be 15 minus 7, or 8, is how many calls she received on the second night. And then 2X, which is 2 times 15, which equals 30, is how many calls she received on the third night. And if you double check your answer just to make sure that all these numbers add up to equal 53, it does in fact equal 53. So we are good to go there. So this is what you would type in for first, for second, and then for third. Here we have another word problem. It says Lou, Kareem, and Austin and have a total of $122 in their wallets. So I have L for Lou plus K for Kareem plus A for Austin and together they should have $122. It says Austin, they're talking about this guy, has four times what Lou has. So they're using Lou to describe what Austin has, which means Lou should be X. And then Austin, because it's four times that of Lou, would be 4x. Last is Kareem. Kareem has eight more than Lou, which means I'm gonna take what Lou has and then add eight to it. How much does each one have? So if we combine our like terms, we get 6x plus eight equal to 122. And then if we solve for x, we have to subtract eight and then divide by six. I get X equals 19, which means Lou has $19 because Lou equals just X by itself. Kareem has X plus eight, so 19 plus eight, which is 27. And then Austin has four times what do had, which is 76. And then again, if you want to double check, 
19 plus 27 plus 76 does come out to be 122. So these are the numbers you're going to use for Lou, Kareem, and Austin.